Hey YouTube, it's Carrier Sidekick, and today we're playing Team Deathmatch on Comeback. I know I've mentioned this maybe a couple of times in my streams, but I don't know about any of my videos that I pretty much hate this map, because this map is always like fight for the rooftops. That's one thing I don't really like about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I didn't really like about Titanfall. I don't like about any of the games where you get like serious lift on your character, is I just really don't like people trying to get above you and shoot below you because they usually have a great advantage over you and I'm kind of one of those people that I just kind of like to stay on the ground. I almost feel like I would prefer to play the classic playlist except for the fact that I do kind of like the exo movements now so it would kind of feel weird going back. But I actually did really good in this game. I go 16 and 2. This is my best KD ever of 8. And yeah, I really wish I could get another game like this because like I don't usually get KD that's that high but uh yeah, I did pretty decent in this game, especially for being on a map that I don't like. So, and I'm also using a gun that, like, I never use. I never use the bow, uh, but I gotta have that suppressor. I cannot play any, any guns without the suppressor, and I don't know. I usually wouldn't use the red dot either, because I think that the iron sights are alright, so. I don't know, I, I felt like I did pretty decent for using a bunch of stuff I don't normally use and don't really like. But, so today what I want to talk about is we have another 5-gum question of the day kind of thing. Truth or dare, stupid thing. It's another truth. So, the truth for this one is, if you could rewrite history, what would you change? Okay, so in high school, history was my least favorite subject. It's been my least favorite subject actually my entire life. I've never liked history. Uh, I feel like history is really hard for me to wrap my head around because it's it's so old, it's, it almost seems like it's uh, fictional. Like it just doesn't seem real. It's really hard for me to wrap my head around the fact that, you know, there was, um, like, George Washington was a real person because that was so long ago. I, I don't know. I don't know if other people like understand what I mean and a lot of it just seems pointless and useless to me. I know a lot of people like history and like that's cool for them. Uh, the only history I like is American history. I do not care about world history at all. I thought world history was the biggest waste of my time in high school. I'm a science person. I, um, I know a lot of people don't like science. I'm kind of a weird person in that aspect of um, I like science because I like to know how things work like as a kid I can always remember like no matter what like are there still some things that I want to know how they work but I don't care uh, to spend that much time in figuring out like a camera like to me that's like really interesting how does a camera work how does a camera take a picture of something that you can see and recreate the image so you can see it later like that's interesting or like how do computers work I can just remember being a kid being like ooh how does this work I wanted to take everything apart and try to figure out how it worked so I'm more uh, more scientific minded, not history minded. Like I just I do not care about history. So this is kind of a difficult question for me because I honestly don't know a lot about history. Um, I'm pretty stupid when it comes to history. Like stuff like even like non-Americans would probably know. People of um, I don't know. Just like there's so many like basic questions like some who killed JFK. I don't know. I, I don't even know if I knew that in high school. Like, just, like, really basic stuff that everyone should know to probably pass, like, you know, uh, an American history high school exam or to, like, become a United States citizen or something like that. Like, uh, if you were to ask me, you know, like, how many uh, people are in, in the uh, House of Representatives or, or the Senate or whatever, I'd be like, I don't know. I, I don't know any of this stuff. Uh, so, this is honestly a, um, it's, uh, it's kind of difficult. For me to say what I would change, I guess the only thing I can think of maybe that I would change, but see, I don't know that it would be good to change because I feel like it's still, uh, you know, it taught like a good lesson would be something really bad like Hitler, you know, killing a bunch of people because that's like, that's really horrible. Um, and honestly, I don't even know that much about Hitler. Like, I know that he killed a lot of Jews and that he thought like Aryans were the perfect race and... Um, that there was, like, concentration camps, but, like, I am so not into history, but that's, like, really the only thing I can think of that I would change. The only other thing I would change is the fact that I wasn't in it. Now, I say I don't like history, and I don't, but I think it would be really cool to actually relive some of this more rather than reading a textbook. Like, textbooks are kind of the only books I can stand to read. I don't like reading, but... I think it'd be cool if somehow you could have, like, virtual augmented reality, kind of like Assassin's Creed, of, like, things that are, um... Or history and actually I saw a meme on Facebook a couple months ago that said I don't always learn history but when I do I play Assassin's Creed and I was like that's so me because Assassin's Creed is like the only way I learn history so interested to hear what you guys say if you could rewrite history what would you write like I still really don't know and I know my answer was kind of a half-ass answer because like I said like history is just not my thing 
But let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you guys later.